Hello dear students, let us discuss another interesting question from the chapter Construction of Quadrilaterals. I hope uh, you have practiced different cases of uh, constructing the quadrilaterals. This is uh, yet another case when uh, two adjacent sides and three angles are given then how we can construct a quadrilateral let us understand this by the help of this example construct a quadrilateral a b c d in which a b is three centimeter so i'm making a rough sketch you know that a quadrilateral is a polygon having four sides so i've drawn here a rough sketch of a b c d so AB is 3 cm, so AB is given, I am putting a tick mark, this is 3 cm, BC is 4 cm, okay, this is given as 4 cm and we have angle A 75 degrees, okay, fine and angle B is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees and angle C is 120 degrees. Okay, so let us see how we can do the construction. So we will begin with first drawing the line segment AB. So let us take a ruler and AB is given to be 3 centimeter. So we will draw a line segment AB of length 3 centimeter so let us draw this so using the given dimensions we are going to construct the quadrilateral a b c d so this is how we have first drawn a b so a b is 3 centimeters right now it is given that at a just observe this at a we need to construct an angle of 75 degrees. So tell me how you construct an angle of 75 degrees. Yes, we will be getting the bisector of 60 degrees and 90 degrees. So when we bisect 60 degrees and 90 degrees, we get an angle of 75 degrees. You see 60 plus 90 divided by 2 that is 150 divided by 2 gives us 75. So let us first draw an arc. So here I am going to draw an arc with A as center. And we need to construct an angle of uh, 60 degree and 90 degree. So you can see that here this arc is intersecting AB at a point. Here I am marking the point P. So, with P as center and same radius, we have taken another arc and let this point be Q. And with Q as center and same radius, we draw another arc and let this point be R. So, by the help of uh, this 60 degree mark and 120 degree mark, first we are going to get 90 degrees so you know how to construct an angle of 90 degree see how i am doing with q as center and radius equal to more than half of rq we draw we have drawn an arc and with the same radius we have drawn another arc so we have got this point of intersection and when we join A with this point of intersection and extend it to a point X. So this is a ray AX. So you can see that angle X, A, B will be 90 degrees. But we have to get an angle of 75 degrees at the point A. So how we do this? We are going to now bisect 90 degrees and 60 degrees so this is the point so here let let us write it s 
so we need to now find the draw the bisector so how we are going to do this with q as center and radius more than half of sq we draw an arc with s as center and same radius we draw another arc intersecting the previous arc and when we join this point of intersection with a and extend it to make a ray a y then we say here that angle y a b i am writing here this will be 75 degrees so we have got this angle 75 degrees so this is basically uh, let, let me just shade it so this shaded part is 75 degrees this is representing angle y a b so this is an angle of 75 degrees okay now at b we need an angle of 90 degrees so we'll follow the same process so i'm quickly constructing an angle of 90 degrees you know how to do this so see how i am doing it it is very simple to construct an angle of 90 degree there are different ways one is that you can bisect 60 degree and this 120 degrees and another is you can bisect 180 degrees so it's your choice how you get it okay now when i join this point of intersection with b and extend it to the point z to make a ray b z then angle a b z i am writing here angle a b z is 90 degree so till now what we have got we have got a b so i am writing here we have got a b 3 centimeter yes we have got angle a 75 degrees yes we got angle B, 90 degrees. Yes. Okay. Now proceeding further, let us see how we are going to do. So now we can see from the rough figure that BC is provided to us. So we can set radius 4 centimeter and get this BC. So let us finish that first. So, I am now taking the radius as 4 cm and with B as center on BZ, we are going to cut an arc. So, this point will be C because this is 4 cm now. Okay. Now, interesting. We need one more angle, angle C that is 120 degrees. See what I am trying to do? I am now rotating this sheet so that i can easily construct so at c we need an angle of 120 degrees so you now know how to construct an angle of 120 degrees so you can quickly see the process this is 60 this is 120 so let me join this and extend it to the point w and we see that i am now going to shade this since this is 120 degrees so angle c we have got 120 degrees basically it is angle b c w so i'm writing here angle b c w is 120 degrees fine so let us see what we have got. AB we have got. Yes. Angle A 75. Yes. Angle B 90. Yes. Angle C 120 degrees. Yes. What is left then? 